with SDN becoming a buzzword, many networking device vendors have made their own SDN controller to control their own devices. But what if you have a network with several brands of devices? Or if you are introducing new switches to a brownfield deployment, where there are already existing devices which cannot be removed, then you must use a separate controller to control each brand of device because the controller that is provided by the vendor can only control devices from that single vendor. Then your application will need to handle the case for each vendor separately, becoming a super controller whose only purpose is to control other controllers. This introduces another level of complexity into your network. Yes, it is possible by identifying common points of functionality and by using what we call the strategy pattern, which is a term that comes from computer programming. The strategy pattern allows software to easily support actions that can be performed in various ways but in the same manner. For example, an online shopping application has a function to make payment. It supports MasterCard and Visa, each of which has their own API. However, each credit card company has the same basic function of make payment. Whenever a customer makes a purchase using MasterCard, the app will use MasterCard's API. But if the customer decided to use Visa instead, the app will use Visa's API. By using the strategy pattern, the payment logic for Visa and MasterCard is kept separate, while the end user experience is the same no matter which credit card is used. It is also easy for the app developer to add new payment options like PayPal without affecting the existing option. Our SDN controller acts in a similar way. Instead of making payments, it might need to perform the following functions, such as creating a VTAP endpoint or assigning a VLAN to the interface, setting interface MPU, port speed, and iter type or rate limiting on the interface or VXLAN kernel. And lastly, to retrieve telemetry data, such as the current traffic flow or the packet counts on an interface. Each brand of device has its own network operating system, which will have its own, often mutually incompatible implementation of the above function. When the controller is asked to perform one of those actions, like creating a VTEM endpoint, it will check the device brand and perform the correct action to achieve the desired results, whether the device is a Cisco or a Cumulus or some other brand. If it is Cisco, Cisco commands will be used to create the VTAP. If it is Cumulus, Linux commands will be executed to create the VTAP. The automation is done using Ansible for Linux-based operating systems and brands which have their own Ansible modules, as well as NetMiko for other operating systems, so that legacy devices which only support CLI can also be supported by our multi-vendor controller. Apart from being fully automated, our controller framework is easily extendable to support more and more hardware and software vendors. Essentially, the whole network can be treated as if it consisted of a single brand of devices. The controller handles and abstracts the complexities of dealing with multiple vendors, presenting a unified API that applications such as a VSS OSS system can use to provision network services. The end result is that the business logic can be neatly separated from the network operation logic, and all the network provisioning can be done in real time without human intervention. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like and subscribe button.